Uh, please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question, and then we will call on you. Uh, would anyone like to go first? We'll start with Strafe. Okay, sorry about the loss. It was a pretty close game. The out, uh, both maps came down to the last few rounds. What do you think was the problem today? Especially since you guys started uh, very slow on the very slow on both maps. What was the problem? Uh, what was going wrong? Um, I think we just weren't playing together as good as we normally do. Um, I think my calling was also not the greatest um, in certain rounds. Um, so I think just a mixture of just not having, you know, really good team synergy today and then them having pretty good team synergy kind of owned us, especially early on. As the maps got, like, warmed up, we started doing our normal stuff. Um, still a little off, but, I mean, it's fine. We'll come back tomorrow and we should be a different team. We We know what to do. We know the fixes. Thank you. <clears throat> Can I ask a follow-up question? Sure. Uh, you would face PaperX again tomorrow. My PaperX tomorrow again in IPAC team. Uh, what would you? Th what would the plan like uh, going to tomorrow? Because they are a team that's always a challenge to face for any team because they are so. They j last night they changed the comp just because they thought it's wrong. Uh, what would be the plan be like to facing to facing tomorrow? Are you confident about facing them? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we're all very confident in facing them. I think we think we're the best team in the tournament. So, I mean, of course, we're going to be confident. Um, I play PRX a bunch um, in the last year, and uh, I know exactly how they play. I'm very aggressive. Very, they're going to be a very rough team to play against. But as long as we just like stay to our protocols and you know just play together, I think we do have the upper hand. Yep. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to One Esports. Um. Hi. I'm Elaine from One Esports, and sorry for the loss. Um, this question is for Boostio. You mentioned in the previous press conference that you would be excited to face Genji. And now that you've had the opportunity to face them, were there anything about them that impressed you, or were they exactly what you expected them to be? Um, to be honest, I think they did impress me a lot. Um, in the server, it felt like uh, they were playing together well, playing just solid Valorant, and then a couple rounds um we did some really like interesting stuff like uh being very aggressive and got it got us a couple times which is like normally doesn't happen to us i feel like anymore where like some player does like a very aggressive like peak or very aggressive hold and uh like multis us i feel like that this doesn't happen nearly as much and it happened like three or four times i think against them so props onto those players for like being uh, that confident in this game um yeah i think they deserved it today over us to be honest but and I do want to rematch them very badly now. And I think uh, it will go our way next time. Okay, Thanks. thank you. We'll go next to Grill News. Hi, I'm sorry for the loss. Um, what do you feel you were able to learn from this match? Um... I'd say like primarily just what it looks like when we're out of sync and we just have to spend our time bot reviewing this one to make sure that we understand what exactly was uh, making us feel out of sync in game. Um, as long as we figure that out, I think, I think we'll be pretty solid against PRX. Obviously PRX has like a pretty aggressive play style that we'll have to be uh, used to. But I mean, at this point, if you don't know that PRX is going to be aggressive, then you're probably not watching Valorant. So. Thank you. Are there any other questions for 100 Thieves in the room or from the remote media? Uh, Grill News, did you have one more question? No, thank we'll go, you. We'll go to Strafe. Zen? Sorry. Sorry, I had to turn on my mic. Um, yeah, this question is for Boostio. Um, first of all, I wanted to extend commiserations on your loss. And I wanted to further the question that my colleague asked on um, the performance today, and you mentioned that your calling wasn't the best. I wanted to ask, as an IGL, from an IGL's point of view, what determines good calling on a particular in a particular series? What allows you or facilitates you to have good calling, and what doesn't? Um, I mean, to me, I just think I called a little too many rushes on ascent and maybe icebox. I think. Playing slow against them probably would have been a little better in certain scenarios. Um, but overall, I just I don't think I was communicating as good as I usually do. 
um, in other series. So it just, I don't know exactly yet. I haven't heard like my comms back, but it just felt off to me. So I'm sure it felt off to like my teammates. So um, just overall, it just, I think it was just weaker calling than normal as well. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, 100 Thieves, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. No problem. Thank you.